Good morning, it's Monday. We're up with the sun again. Just gonna see how all these babies are doing and if we have some more. Oh, my new babies are up, that's good. See a water bag. So she's just starting, so that's good. I got here in time for her. Hello. Are you having a baby? Hi, Hazel. All right, let's go see if there's any more. Oh, here's a baby. There's one there and one there, so she must have had two. Did you get left? Yeah. Then you need to mommy. Yeah. So you guys, I've been working for, this is going on, when did you lay on Friday? Yep, she lay on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday, so it's been three days. I've fed these lambs four times a day by tying up this ewe. Even tied up, she will not let the lambs on her unless I'm in the pen with her. Uh, and I have to rub her back, and then she completely succumbs and lets them drink. She does not kick. She kind of just like drops her back end and she, she starts chewing her cut. The minute I leave, they, they either stop drinking or she will kick them again. I'm not really sure what to do. I might just give her a few more feedings and we'll see if she comes around or maybe let them out after I tag them and see if she will feed on her own. I really don't think she will. I think she'll probably just run away. If we were in the heart of lambing right now, there's no way I would have had the time to sacrifice on her. And those lambs would have gone on the machine immediately. But because this group might not have a lot of like triplets and quads, it would have been really nice not to have to set that up. I moved these two in here and they're doing well. <laughs> Having a little nap already. Uh, and this one, I kind of just shut this area up for her so I didn't have to go chasing her all the way down to the other end of the barn. Setting up a few more pens for them. And then after breakfast, I'm going to start tagging all these ewes and lambs that were born uh, Friday, Saturday. And start building a bigger area for them at the, at the back. It's a beautiful morning, guys. Well... During breakfast, my loud you had triplets. So that's my first set so far. And Carissa also had a little you lamb have a single and it's drinking. So that's four lambs in the last hour. Unassisted. <laughs> I am working really hard at just supervising and not interfering unless it's absolutely uh, required. Well, it has been a really busy morning. All of a sudden the lambs are a coming, so we have a single here. Twins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lambs since this morning. What are you doing? She's stealing my telehandler. <laughs> so I did start tagging all my lambs. I'm a, I'm a day behind on that. I should have been doing it yesterday, but my sister and my brother-in-law came to visit and we haven't seen I haven't seen my brother, my sister does our books, so we've seen her twice, uh, but we haven't seen Carl since Christmas because before COVID, Mark was away and we just never got around to it. So, um, so it was really nice. So I didn't get at this yesterday. So we have five ewes and lambs marked. 
So I'll probably make this pen bigger today. But it looks like someone's hungry. My kids are hungry, so I better feed them. I got the milk machine all set up and ready to go and cleaned out. got a ewe lambing at the very back. So we better go check her. Okay, I have set up a whole bunch more pens. So we're right to the water bowl now, which would be I don't know, probably if these were all down, I could fit about 25 ewes and babies in there. But it's nice just to have them up for if, if I have an onslaught of lambs, it's nice to have some spares already set up, ready to go. So I'm not trying to set up if there's a bunch of chaos in the morning. Uh, but meantime, when I was setting them up, she had a sweet little suffix. I'm trying to figure out, I haven't actually seen her feed it. But her udder feels like it's been drank out of, so I don't know. I have to keep watching. These are a lot of these that are being really sheepish. Uh -huh. um, are because they're first-time lammers, and they're just just not sure what's going on. <laughs> so I might just grab a bottle and make sure it's drank something because I never. I never like missing the window of opportunity for colostrum. Even if she's fed it, if it doesn't drink, then I know it's already drank. But that's pretty much all you do. They lamb, you make sure they drink. If they haven't drank or you haven't seen them drink, mix up a bottle for them or take the milk out of mom and just offer it to them because it's just an insurance policy and we have to get colostrum into them within like four or five hours. Two more. Today has been a busy day. I just got back, Mark is replanting black beans. I just got back filling him up again. And there was nothing going on here when I left. And then I came back and two more unassisted huge lambs, which is great. It's almost nine o'clock. Time for another night check. Billy says hi. <laughs> According to my nest cameras, I didn't see any lambs. So I'm just doing a walk through here. There are no lambs.
Christmas! Everybody's bonding well. Alright, so... I'm gonna tie up Mom again and let them have their little supper. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Let's go see if we got some more babies, shall we? The birds are so loud. <laughs> I can't do much. I did get a mic, but I think the mic sometimes just picks them up. Hi, everyone. Everybody looks happy. Oh, there's a baby. Hello. I think we got a couple mums fighting for that one. Let's go see what else we got going on. I think that's it. All right. That's a nice morning. So I started to keep track. I want to keep a lamb check every day for you guys. Because uh, it's just nice to see which days are busier than others. And uh, kind of what we started out with in the morning, what we ended up with at night. So... As of yesterday, which was Monday night, so let's say Tuesday morning, so this morning before this lamb, uh, we have a total of, so at the very beginning we had four stillborns. A week ago yesterday we had our very first lamb, premature. Uh, she had one alive and one was stillborn, and then, the, and then another one had a single stillborn, and then the next day a you had stillborn twins. With that out of the way, everything has come out good since. Uh, so beyond those four, we've had 24 lambs. So we are at, as of Monday night, Tuesday morning, we are at 24 lambs. And yesterday we had 12. Let's put this lamb away with mom so the other one doesn't steal it. And uh, check, those, check those lambs and see if they drink out of mom. Up. 
chewing her cud. She just won't do it on her own. So I don't know what is going on up here. What do we got here? That's pretty little, Mom. You probably got another one in there. <gasps> no, it's right there. What about this one? Let me get it. Hi, little monkey. What are you doing? Oh, you're so small. You're so small. Hi. Shall we move you? It's got something on her chin. I don't know if it's Caseus. It would suck because these guys were given gland back. So they shouldn't have it. Okay, I've got one lamb is drinking really well. But the other one is too itty bitty. So I'm going to take some milk out of mum and feed this one. <laughs> it's so little. That is the worst part. They are so mean. I have to walk away. I have to put them in here. I have to walk away and when I come back it's usually quiet and everybody's in their corner. <laughs> Mommy. 
it's nine o'clock. We're in for the night check. I feel like my day is like Groundhog Day for you guys. Uh, today was much quieter than yesterday. I think yesterday we had 12 lambs and today not too many. I'll do a count here in a sec. I'm just walking along the pen. I like to just go from front to back and make sure there's no new lambs. And there's not. Hello, Billy. So, the ewe you probably just saw here give birth uh, to twins. I've been trying to let them do it all on their own, unassisted. They've been really good. And this one was just getting, she was taking a while just because she was chasing, chasing the one. Um, here they are. They're doing well now. She kept chasing the, the bigger one, the older one and I wanted her to relax and have her second lamb because once they're in that birth canal I want it to happen fairly quickly. That's why I ran her into this pen and I ended up just just really grabbing grabbing the toe, pulling a little bit and the lamb popped right out. So she would have done it on her own, she just was not relaxing. Um, but I caught the whole thing on video. So I might just put a link in the description because every time I try to do a live birth, I get demonetized. Uh, so um, I'm trying to let you guys have an opportunity to see it all because I know that's why you come to my channel. So I will, whenever I do capture a whole thing on my camera, I will try to put a description and an unlisted link to it and then you guys can just watch it there. Are you wanting to feed your babies? This lady is hilarious. So now, we have a little rhythm. I come into the barn, she yells at me until I put the halter on her, and then her babies drink. But you know what? She's feeding so fast, I can tie her up four times a day. These babies drink for maybe three minutes, and then they're done. Like, I, I can't even bottle feed that quick, so... We'll keep doing this. I'm just praying, fingers crossed, that... Uh, she just did it again that uh, she'll get more comfortable and the babies will get more comfortable. 